How's everyone doing today? I got a box in the mail from Universal and it is a promo box. And I think these promo boxes are amazing. I've never gotten one from Universal before and I'm really excited for it. Uh, promo boxes, you know, they usually uh, come with the movie and then some uh, promotional items to promote the film, obviously. Uh, this one is for Dear Evan Hansen. And let me know if you've seen Dear Evan Hansen and what you think of it. Uh, this was interesting to me because I saw the trailers and I didn't realize it was a uh, part musical, essentially. Uh, in the trailers, they don't show anybody like actually singing. You hear in the background. Uh, I know it was based off of a play, which was based off of a book, and it was a Tony, Grammy, uh, Emmy Award winning play. Uh, and it has the same actor who was in the play. He plays the lead here, uh, Ben Platt. And uh, yeah, so that was the one thing. I'm not a big musical fan, uh, so definitely take that into consideration. You know, you hear somebody saying, you know, they're sad, and all of a sudden, I'm sad, yeah, you know, and it breaks into you know, the musical song aspect of it. I just feel like for me, it takes me out of the scene and out of the mood. Like there's, you know, I feel like I would prefer a straightforward narrative without the musical aspect. But I know I'm in the minority in that, and musicals are a big thing. Uh, so yeah, it's basically a story about uh, this kid in high school who is uh, dealing with anxiety and depression. He doesn't really have any friends and he's seeing a therapist and he has a broken arm right there. And this kid uh, signs his cast, Connor, signs it like a real jerk too, taking up the whole space. And uh, you know ba that's basically the only interaction he's really had and besides that kid like yelling at him, in fact. There's another kid who is like dealing with his own issues. And then uh, that kid takes his life. So, it is a sensitive subject matter as well, dealing with that. And then uh, they find a note uh, and they everybody thinks that they were best friends, uh, the parents and stuff like that. And, you know, at first he doesn't have the heart to, he's trying to tell them and then they're not really listening and uh, he just doesn't have the heart to do it. And then uh, he has a crush on the sister too. So there's a romance aspect. Uh, so that, I feel like that was a really dramatic uh, element too, uh, you know, kind of playing that up where the fact that he has a, a crush on uh, the guy uh, who took his life, uh, the sister right there. And um, it was uh, interesting with the different dynamics of just everybody, all the cast interaction. I actually, for me, the supporting cast was amazing here. I love the supporting cast uh, so much. Uh, you've got uh, Danny Pinto from uh, Cold Case and Law and Order. Uh, you've got uh, Amanda uh, Steinberg who was in Hunger Games, Everything, Everything. Uh, I really like her as an actress, and um, you've got uh, Julianne Moore, who's just a fantastic actress, Amy Adams, uh, and then um, the main crush in here, too, uh, Caitlin uh, Dever, who is from uh, Booksmart, and uh, Short Term 12, which is such an amazing film, underrated film, too. Love the heck out of that one. I can't give that one a high enough recommendation. Uh, but I really did enjoy um, the story, and it has a lot of inspiration here, too. Um, and it's interesting to take a look at how different kids are these days. Like growing up, I feel like everybody got bullied and picked on. Uh, but now, you know, you got the social media aspect and then too, you know, certain things are happening and instead of like trying to help people, kids take out their cell phones and try to videotape it and, you know, get a social media cloud. Um, so you see that kind of in here. Uh, but again, I love the supporting cast. I love the cast interaction. Uh, there's definitely some really heartfelt moments. I'm just not a big musical guy, so that's my major gripe here, too. I also felt, if I'm going to be honest, uh, the lead actor, he looked a little old for the role. I know they always, you know, play, you know, high school students, uh, people that are older, uh, you know, they have more experience for the acting. But I don't know, he just, he reminded me of a kid I went to high school with, but he looks like how uh, my friend looks now. Uh, so that's my only real criticism. But I think a lot of people were really... Uh, relate to this movie and uh, find a lot of uh, inspiration from it too. Um, again, I really love the the family dynamics here and just the different uh, relationships and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, really uh, heartfelt. Uh, and uh, let's go ahead and see the promo items for it. And yeah, here's the, the write-up for it from Universal. Uh, this holiday season, bring home the soaring cinematic version of the record-breaking beloved Broadway hit musical Tony, Grammy, and uh, Emmy Award winning uh film or uh, play and then you know with uh ben platt reprises his role uh so he won a lot of the awards too with her uh, his performance but uh they sent over a really cool um hoodie which i think is neat it says you know dear evan hansen the title so there's that and there's the hoodie right there so that is really cool 
You know, it's a practical promo item you can walk around and promote for the movie right there. And so that is nice. And then you get a uh, really thick notepad. You know, today is going to be a good day, and here's why, dear Evan Hansen. Uh, the movie is therapist has him, you know, write to himself every day and say, you know, that it's going to be a good day because of this. And that kind of plays out into the film because the one character, like, takes the note, uh, and that's what's found on him. Uh, so that's why they think that, uh, you know, they're best friends because he writes to himself, dear Evan Hansen. So the people think that it's actually written from the other kid's perspective. But a nice thick notepad, which I could definitely use. And then this is cool. I'm, you know, I can always use more mugs. It's a mug and bubble wrapped up. So I definitely appreciate that. Um, I, again, I love these uh, promo boxes. I feel like I'm, I'm, a, I'm a kid on Christmas here with them. But there we go. Nice color scheme for it. The title right there again. And then on the back, you will be found. So yeah, there's definitely a, a speech in here that, um, you know, they, they filmed it and uh, at the school and they uploaded it and it went viral. Um, so I feel like that plays into that for the inspiration aspect. So really cool. Um, we've got a hoodie, the notepad, and uh, let me get, if I can get uh, the name right here, prominently uh, displayed, if I can. And here it is, here it is. We got it, we got it now. There we go. But uh, yeah, so I think this was a really cool promo box. This is the first time I've ever gotten a promo box from Universal. So I definitely think that is really cool. And, you know, here we go. Dear Evan Hansen, check it out if you're into uh, inspirational uh, musical films. I think uh, a lot of people will enjoy it for sure. Again, my only criticism is I'm not a big musical fan. And a lot of those musical uh, you know, aspects right there kind of took me out of the scene. Uh, and then the lead actor, uh, he just looked a little bit too old for the role. Uh, but again, uh, a lot of people are going to really love this film. So I would definitely recommend checking it out, especially if you're into inspirational films and uh, musicals. Again, the supporting cast, love that. I can't say enough uh, you know, praise for that. And then again, the cast interaction. So definitely check out Dear Evan Hansen coming out tomorrow on uh, Blu-ray. And this is a Blu-ray DVD digital copy combo pack. So there you go. Uh, I've shown a few promo boxes before, uh, but again, my first one from Universal, and I love it. Uh, I definitely some things that I can utilize, practical, you know, the hoodie, the mug, uh, the notepad, I'm constantly, you know, writing stuff down. So that will definitely come in handy. Um, there you go. Again, let me know if you've seen Dear Evan Hansen and what you think of it. And let me know what your favorite musical is. Uh, give me some more musical recommendations for me to check out. Uh, one of my favorite musicals as of The Greatest Showman recently, uh, and then Singing in the Rain for, you know, a classic one. But definitely let me uh, know uh, your favorite and give me some recommendations for other ones you think I might enjoy. Uh, leave me those comments down below, and I hope everybody's doing well. Take care.